On the last episode of Pokemon Coliseum Walkthrough, Dio Gen Z conquered the first rounds of the Deep Coliseum. Now, it's down to the finals. Versing a familiar face. So we meet again, you're not accepting my challenge or something, because it went too fast. But I don't care, because this battle's going to be a blast. We may have been taken out by the Revenge of Gonzap, but I'm guessing that Mirror B is not as tough. Especially when we have the tag team, the dream team double battling meme that is Ampharos and Suicune. Two awesome second gen pokes that work well together. Oh, you can raise your physical defense all you want. It's the special defense that I'll be striking. That's what you gotta consider, especially when they use items like that. Like I said, I'm not really into using those X anythings. I bet if I used that in my match with Gonzap, it probably would have been a better way to get rid of him. Haha, <laughs> but Paralysis is a pretty good way to start out the match against Ludicolos. They haven't wasted any attack, and unfortunately, because we did the Assurance of Rain Dance for Thunder, that one that we paralyzed happened to get some health from his Rain Dish, his ability. And that sucks too. Unfortunately, by using Rain Dance to assure that every time Thunder strikes... Oh wow, that did bullshit nothing. Uh, it makes his Hydro Pump even stronger as well. Oh, damn it, the thing didn't die. And it gets to use Leech Seed, you asshole! No! Alright, we gotta... Uh, we gotta we gotta think of what to do here. We probably gotta recover my Ampharos because that damn Ludicolo seeded us. And it gets health from its rain dish, man. Maybe we would have been better off with Thunderbolt. And I'm really taking a, a risk here. But he goes for Sweet Coon not Sweet Coon. Oh wow, I thought if he was gonna use Giga Drain he would have went for Sweet Coon. Alright, so if Aurora Beam's not super effective, which makes sense because it's not very effective against water, then hopefully my Flying-type Gust, although it's such a weak attack, that's the only thing. Is it going to be stronger than Aurora Beam? Well, another special sweeper that we have on our side is Espeon. So let us do Espionage. Oh, man, it's still freaking alive, and we got the Rain Dish going for it. Uh, we need to dry this field out. We're only assisting Mirror B in this battle. Letting him leech seed us. Powering up his moves with Rain Dance. Oh, don't don't take uh Don't take the original Dream Team meme for uh, the double battle against Mirror B. He might want to use something more on the side of a sunny day team. This way their water type moves are negated. And Typhlosion can strike them at least normal effectiveness with a flame wheel of, or flamethrower, whatever you have on him. Supercharged by the sun. Sun, 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 here it comes. But I don't want to risk it with two hydro pump pokes on the field. We got to put those two down, damn it. Down to sleep. Got to put them to sleep right now. Send him out. We have not destroyed one of his pokes yet, and he's already taken out two. This is not a good kill-death ratio. Not even a little. Oh boy. Gaga Drain! Good, he used it against a not very effective poke. If we could put the other one to sleep, since this guy's already paralyzed, maybe then we can start to focus on draining the other one's health while the other one's incapacitated and can't use Hydro Pump and Giga Drain. But look at that, the freaking Rain Dish combination that we did with it. Ah, oh, man, it's disastrous. We got it back into the green health. And now it's going to freaking suck out Suicune's life too. And it holds on just barely. Okay, just by orange. But that's not good enough for me. <sighs> yeah, we got to put you to sleep. Thank goodness the rain didn't negate that. Man, if the rain washed out the sleep powder. Like, it's too rainy for powder to go across the field. And it missed. I would have been so depressed. Because that sleep powder is what we need to depend on in this match. At least at this juncture here. Until we can swap out these freaking Ludicolos. That seemed to be a little bit more effective than using it on the other one. And his attack fell. 
And he's paralyzed. What now? The wrath of Ampharos lives on. And the rain has stopped. So you do not get any sort of benefit. Alright. Things are, things are going our way. Things are actually looking up for us. But if we want them to continue to look up, I figured out that from our battle with Gonzap, we might want some revival herbs too, which cost a lot less than revives. They make your Pokemon like you less, so don't depend on using return. But now that the, the rain is gone and it won't take extra turns for the solar beam to charge, we'll get our lasers pumped up. Colo to at least hit it normal effectiveness. The grass slash water type that Ludicolo is makes it difficult to strike super effectively. We need a flying type move, which I unfortunately do not have on this team. And he restores ridiculousness. Uh, we're going to have to put that guy to sleep now. Oh, that makes it easier. You know, I'd rather have you put to sleep then paralyzed. And now that we've got a new combination on the field, we'll negate the effects of water. That Ludicolo is still asleep, so now it's time for you to burn and snooze. I say we get rid of that one and put the other one to sleep. Oh, but the attack missed. Alright, at least if the other one uses any sort of water move, Hydro Pump, or anything else, and Fire Blast gets powered up in the sun. Let's keep that in mind. Oh, the bastard! He's on to us. Alright, so, oh no. Oh good, it uses Rain Dance too. Awesome. I love combination Rain Dance. Alright, so it's a battle of weather, is it? That's what you want? That's what you want to wage on us? Alright, we can, two can play at this game. I will hit you with a sunny day and put your ass back to sleep. Oh, and it misses! Nice! That's really important that it missed. Not that my, uh, <laughs> not that my attack missed. That really kind of sucks. Oh, but it hides underwater. At least it won't be super effective when it re-emerges in the sun. <laughs> I mean, it will be super effective. But, uh, it won't be, uh, as effective as it would have been in water. That's even worse. So, lead with Mirror B with your Sunny Day team, and I guess that's unfortunate because that means the entire match you'll have to run with Sunny Day. But since we faced that trainer that had Tropius and the Nuzleaf, I guess in the semifinals, you know, that actually makes sense. It would be a worthwhile strategy to use because Typhlosion could run at it with super-powered fire moves. And Mirror B is going to keep delaying with rain, so you can play a game while you try to put it to sleep with your one Jump Luff, your Solar Beam-enabled Jump Luff, while Typhlosion delays with Sunny Day. And we are getting so lucky right now. I can't believe twice, twice that freaking Hydro Pump has missed. Time for you to go back to sleep while we set up the sun once and for all. I hope that Ludicolo dives. I think that might be its super effective water move. And if that's the case, that works out so well for us. The sun is shining bright. I want to destroy that freaking Ludicolo. Oh, how you like that? Critical hit. I love the power of the sun. It helps grass types and fire types. An awesome combination. It's combining two types that one would be weak against the other, where Jump Luff would die normally to Typhlosion. Typhlosion aids it. As Suicune would be destroyed by Ampharos, it aids it with Rain Dance. Those are the fun mechanics that emerged with double battling. It's really cool to use. Plus, Jump Luff is also partially a flying type. This way, when Typhlosion needs to use an Earthquake, when it's not a Ludicolo and it will be super effective, then it, we can use it without having to do Protect or worry about having Levitate. I'm so glad to get those freaking Ludicolo off the field. Let's eliminate the other one! So close. One more Solar Beam, and that thing should be done. Oh shit! So much for the Solar Beam. It predicted our moves. Bastard. I will avenge you! Ooh, we're running out of pokes. 
We are running out of pokes. Those Ludicolos. Oh man, those, those are freaking annoying as hell. I need to be a lot better leveled up. See, that's the thing. We were doing just fine in the semifinals in the first couple matches of this Deep Coliseum because they didn't have fully evolved pokes like the admins of Cypher. Or ex-admins of Cypher, I suppose. That's why they're in the under. No! Damn it. He's changing the tide of battle quickly. And we need to change it back by getting some pokes revived. I refuse to lose here. I already did to Gonzap. And I don't want to grind. It's, it's the biggest thing on my mind right now. I am going to have to grind at the end of this game in order to get, like, the super 101% 101 complete challenge. And in order to do that, I, I really, I don't look forward to it. It's just a lot of grinding. It's a lot of talking about battles that don't matter and making silly observations as we go along. It should be fun all, along the way to commentate, but I, I don't like grinding overall as a strategy. As, as playing a game, that's not the kind of gameplay I like. I like when the game gives you experience where you're needed and requires you to use skill to utilize that gained experience appropriately and knowledge of the game to do it so. But uh, here, we're going to rely on our knowledge of herbs. Herbal medicines! They are the way of the future. They are here in Colorado, if you know what I'm saying. Especially with the legalization of different herbs. Aya! That is not going to hurt Umbreon quite as much as it hurts Ampharos. But that's okay. It also hurts our Maldo. And, again, the effects, the status affliction effects of Ampharos, whether it's static or poison from Toxic, it will live on after my Ampharos is gone, which I knew that was coming. But the fact that we use a Revival Herb gives us a little extra boost in the game. And I hope you don't mind this kind of strategy. I know it's definitely not the top tier, but I never said I was a master Pokemon player anyway. I am uh, just trying to get through the game, and it's just, it's the grinding. It's the grinding that grinds my gears, because there's nothing you get that much extra except further progression in the game without losing to some. Without losing to some, and if you just use the herbs instead, and you don't care about how your Pokemon feel for you, because it's not like any of them are using return, it doesn't really, that stat doesn't affect me in any way. I don't think they perform less well than if they liked me. I don't think they hit more critical hits if they were, you know, kind of in my, uh, in my favor. But since I'm boosting them with herbs every time, their happiness levels have to be hor horrendous. I was going to say ferocious, but what is, what is ferocious? Atrocious, atrociously horrendous. Probably what that mixture would be. But they remain, they remain useful. They help us in the game. And now that those Ludicolo are gone, I'm not worried about Rain Dance, which we'll need in order to freaking super effectively strike Armaldo and hit x with a bit louder force. But Solar Beam will not be the secure move to use here. Damn. Thought that Sleep Powder would hit. I just hope that x doesn't have some sort of vital, uh, what is it, vital energy? I, I forget what its ability is. Vital Spirit, or something like that. Oh good, the Toxicity should take it out in this turn, that Armaldo. Yeah, that's right. Do some recoil to yourself, dick. But so long as it doesn't have that Vital Spirit ability that allows it to not be put to sleep, we'll be good. Because Armaldo should be dead this turn. Die. Get Toxified. Get Toxic... Get Toxic... Get... Get... Get Toxified. So I suppose if you did not have success in the first run of this game, the sixth slot that Mirror B would have filled would be his Shadow Poke. And uh, if you did not at any point back when we were right about to face the final Cypher Challenge for the main story of the game, this is the after story, this is the post logs, the post pokey adventures of Colosseum that I hope you are enjoying, Comment below if you do. And finally, even though we put it to sleep, it gets knocked out. I think we kind of got some assistance there by Mirabee using it so much with takedown. 
But once those Ludicolo are removed from the field and you don't have Sudowoodo to capture, Mirror B is, is easy. He's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just beware that he will hit you with some big strikes with takedown. He's willing to get the recoil damage it takes to wage that sort of damage on you. So keep that in mind and keep strong with the revival herbs if you uh, lack experience like I do. But last thing, Deep King. So apparently there's a rumor going around that there's a king to the Deep Coliseum. Stronger than Mira B, stronger than all the contestants we've seen so far. We will investigate this next time.